Today we're here for our committee meeting on environment, education, sustainability meeting. Can I have a roll call, please, Madam Clerk? Calling the roll, Ms. Simon? I'm here. Ms. Brown? Here. Mr. Jones? Here. Ms. Stevens? Present. Mr. Brady? Here. There is a quorum. Also like the record to reflect that Councilman Miller is in attendance. Is there any public comment? Uh, no, Madam Chair, no one has signed in. So um, we have minutes from July 17th. Can I have a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Minutes approved from the 17th. So we're going to proceed today. This is an annual event in our committee that we're able to review applications to the state and support all the municipalities and groups who are seeking funding for environmental um, conservation programs, which are usually pretty significant and exciting in my mind. So um, I, we're going to read some. There's two that have been withdrawn, but we'll go from the first one, if you can read it. Madam Clerk. Resolution number 2019-0182, supporting an application for funding under the Clean Ohio Fund Green Space Conservation Program on behalf of City of Brooklyn for the conservation of ecologically significant areas in Stickney Creek Valley. Thank you, and who's here to speak on behalf of the city? Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Alex Arad. I work with the City of Brooklyn as their community grant writer, and so, um, we're very excited to be here today. Thank you for your time. Um, we're proposing to um, purchase, to acquire property through the Clean Ohio program um, along the Stickney Creek. And so this would be the largest um, portion of property on the Stickney Creek in coordination with West Creek Conservancy um, over a longer effort that they are embarking on to acquire the land across the creek um, to make it accessible to residents. Okay, any questions? It's your district. Yes. Um, it's not really a question. I'd just like to see, uh, of course, I'm supportive. Mm -hmm. I, I'd just be curious. Uh, I'd be, I would like to see, uh, given that it's in, in my district, and, and um, um, I'd like to see a map or I'd like to see some kind of paperwork to remind me exactly how that big yes, creek I have runs. I a map in my bag. Would you mind if I go grab it? Well, Ms. Madam Chairman. Okay. Sure. And, and while you're grabbing your bag with the map, I wanted just to reiterate that we are here to support all of these projects, whether they're in your district, our district or not, that everything throughout the county has significance and we don't pit our districts against each other when, when supporting resolutions for this type of funding. So um, just wanted to get that out there as a reminder. I mean, you stop the meeting. It's just uh... Of the terrain. I apologize. These bags are huge. Well, that's okay. You can just, we can just. I can give know. it to you, and so that way, once I have it, so you can see it. Okay. Is it one, is it one copy of it the map? Is. Our clerk can probably make a copy if okay. you want to give it, Janine, if, or. Okay. okay. All right. We can okay. do that. Okay. Thank you. And then yeah. we'll come back, you know, when it's copied and staff can look at it. We've got a long sure. history We've, of watching that creek and the, how, you know, where it flows into this, out, in, in and out of the city of Cleveland, and mm -hmm. I know it's, I know it a, a little bit about it, so I was curious. Okay, and the site that we are looking at is currently, and this may be familiar to you, with the Up to Bat property, so that's the location along the creek that we are hoping mm -hmm. to acquire. Okay. Mm -hmm. What property? What is the property? It's the, it's, uh, the owner. It's, it used to be the Up to Bat, and so up it was to bat. an athletic space, um, a large area of land that the building would then be demolished. They um, I Sorry. I'm having, I see the parcel number in front of me. Um, it's upstream of Memphis Avenue. Mm -hmm. Memphis. Okay, so we'll. It's near the Kitty Park. Yes. Okay. Right. That's the famous. There's your landmark. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so we're fine. You can um, give the map to our clerk. She'll make a copy for us. But I just want to point out we're looking at, again, 10 acres in this mm -hmm. type of area is significant relative to um, attempting and, and preserving this creek when it's amidst a city 
industrial area. And right. right. Yeah. As a first ring suburb, the opportunity to prevent, uh, offer to offer our residents access to recreational opportunities um, with our natural assets is a huge, um, meaningful importance to us. So this project would contribute to that longer term effort for our community. What, what's the vision for the property? Uh, to It would be improved and it would be reserved as green space in perpetuity. And then I think the long-term vision for it would be to um, link in with what the rest of the work that West, West Creek is doing um, as a part of a trail system. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. thank you. So we can move forward with, um, you can give that to our clerk, and okay. um, I guess we can address each resolution as it comes before us. And um, did you want to... Make a uh, motion. I, I was uh, yes. I move that we support this resolution. Second. Okay. This moved and seconded. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Any opposed? Okay. So um, this has been um, passed through committee, and just we'll we'll have these motions moved to. I probably should have. Is is this a time sensitive type deadline? Well, Allison. Mm -hmm. So so this will. This is passed out of committee. It's going to go to our next council meeting, and it's going to be read for um, second reading, and then it would come back for third reading in two weeks from that. Yes, I, I always build in the time for the three table readings. The applications okay. are due October 11th, so oh. it would be that Tuesday before, I think, is the... Okay, that's fine. Thanks for building that in. Yeah, we appreciate that. We, that. That's a rare bird anymore. <laughs> So, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to move on to the next resolution. It's uh, 2019-0183. Resolution number 2019-0183, supporting an application for funding on behalf of City of Euclid for the Euclid Waterfront. Good afternoon. My name is Allison Lucasilove, and I'm the Community Projects Manager for the City of Euclid, managing the Euclid Waterfront Improvement Plan. We are here before you today to ask for a resolution for uh, acquisition and also some development cost for uh, two properties that are really significant bookends to our transformational Euclid Waterfront Improvements Trail. This is a project that we've been fortunate to receive Cuyahoga County Casino Revenue Fund for. That is one of our matches. Uh, as we understand, there's a 25% local match um, required. We also have some federal funds uh, from a FEMA allocation that will help uh, with this project. So we are asking uh, for your support to acquire with the assistance of the Western Reserve Land Conservancy, a uh, property that consists of 21 parcels next to Sims Park, and the cross street there is East 228th Street and Lakeshore Boulevard. And uh, the acquisition of this will expand the footprint of the city's lakefront city park, and it is the gateway to the trail. The area that will be conserved will be for trail improvements and other public improvements as an expansion of that park. There's um, a fishing pier adjacent to this property and um, some other improvements as well that uh, will remain in perpetuity uh, accessible to the public. And then the other property that we are looking at consists of four parcels of which uh, it will be parceled further so that one area will be reserved for economic development and the northern piece of it, so the lakefront piece, will be permanently conserved as part of this grant request and that will become a new part of our trail. The city currently has easement areas over both of these properties. However, we'd like to own the property um, in perpetuity, and so that is part of our grant request. Thank you. Any questions? What current are these vacant lots along the lake? These parcels? So the uh, westernmost parcels, the 21, um, are currently vacant. The uh, four parcels to the east, which would be at the eastern terminus bookend of this project, do have two structures on them. Um, and we would probably use county demolition money in order to uh, demolish those structures um, in order to be able to conserve the property and have it be part of the trail network. Okay, good luck. Um, we are going to, I, I'm going to move, make a motion to adopt um, resolution 2019-0183. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Next resolution, Madam Clerk, has been um, withdrawn, correct? Yes. Do we need to do anything with that or just off the dock? It's just off the dock. It's just withdrawn okay. unless you'd like. Um, no, get up. that's okay. There was just a question on this one about the 
um, fund a request and whether it would be applicable to this project and, and it wasn't. So that, that Carter Road project funding resolution is withdrawn. So the next item is 2019-0185. Resolution number 2019-0185, supporting an application for funding on behalf of Gates Mills Land Conservancy for Clark Forest Preserve. Who's here to speak on this project? I'm Nathaniel Smith. I'm a director of the Gates Mills Land Conservancy, and we are here to uh, seek your approval for funding to uh, preserve 70, roughly 74 acres of old growth forest in Gates Mills. Uh, and this, this project is comprised of three parcels. One is a 37 acre parcel that is heavily ravined, uh, has um, uh, old growth uh, woodland on it, which is unusual in this part of the country, and it is, uh, has uh, seasonal streams. Uh, we have a 25-acre parcel that is going to be donated as an easement uh, by Gates Mills Land Conservancy, and another 12-acre parcel that's going to be donated as, as an easement by Gates Mills Land Conservancy. So um, uh, we've been working on this project for the last decade. It ties in with a project that was funded on same area in Sherman Road and Gates Mills about 10 years ago where we preserved 95 acres. So this is a major natural habitat space uh, right, at the, right at the edge of um, Cuyahoga County and Geauga County. That's, um, that's the summation of what we're looking for. Thank you for working on this. Any questions from the committee? No, God, we will um, wish you luck. Very significant um, acreage and important with this old growth. So um, I'm going to make a motion. Um, there's no questions. We'll just move. I'll make a motion to adopt resolution 190185. Thank you for your support. Second. Second from Pres President Brady. Um, roll call. I mean, roll call. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? 2019-0186. Resolution number 2019-0186, supporting an application for funding on behalf of Village of Orange for the Chagrin River and Tinkers Creek Headwaters Wetland Protection. Mayor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm afternoon. Kathy Mulcahy. I am the mayor of Orange Village. We are. Be I am before you with a very exciting project. If you've all come over to the 271 Harvard area, the new Pinecrest, we have over $300 million of construction going on in that 271 corridor. We would like to preserve 55 acres in that corridor adjacent to the freeway. Then the, um, I have a map. You can give it to our clerk. Mayor, so is this, um, just describe for me, if you can, adjacent to where the okay. Pinecrest is, or? Okay, it is on the south side of Harvard. It is across from Pinecrest. Now, across from Pinecrest is Cooper's Hawk and a Drury Hotel. That's a Chagrin Highlands parcel. That's 77 acres. That's part of the 630-acre Chagrin Highlands. Adjacent to that is an 84. 0.3 acre parcel. In order to gather the money to preserve 55 acres, we are um, proposing that the 20 acres along Orange Place South, if you can picture this, will have frontage and that can be developed. But 20, that's about 20 acres. The remaining 55 point about 56 acres, 55 point something, will be between that section where the uh, Drury Hotel is and Brainerd, the backyards of the people's homes. It is the, um, it is located, uh, it, the land has numerous wetlands that drain to Wiley Creek. It's a, it has a tributary to the Chagrin River and Hawthorne Creek. It's the confluence of where Wiley Creek and Tinker's Creek comes in. Um, it has, uh, because there's so much commercial development around there, we have an immediate need to protect the sensitive wetland areas as a whole. There's probably half of it, if not more, is high grade wetlands. Um, and so this area has an urgent need to protect the sensitive wetlands, the wetland plants, the microinvertebrate, the bird species, the wildlife habitat. Um, 
We will then take the uh, 55 acres, if we're lucky enough, and, and I'm open to any suggestions any of you have to other sources, because we have to accumulate a lot of money to tie this property up in perpetuity as conservation green space. This is Councilwoman Brown's um, district. Do you have any comments? I echo my mayor's sentiments. I can tell you that I drive, I've grown up around this area. I worked at Dairy Queen on Chagrin. Um, so I've watched this sensitive um, highland wetland be decimated. The acreage of which the mayor speaks is just rich in wildlife and, and diversity. It's just um, so essential that that piece remain because if you know, we're going to lose just really important um, areas of conservation. I mean, you've got the, the meadows by, you know, it just goldenrod and thank you for doing this. I drive by and it makes me sick. I'm, I have to say every single day to watch what, what's, ha I mean, the development's great and I appreciate the money, but you'll never replace this, this gem in this area. That's why we are prepared and I have full council support to uh, dedicate this land for nothing but green space. It will be uh, passive recreation only, no playgrounds, no anything. Um, the village is in the middle right now of putting in six and a half mile of trails, so there will be access to the property. Um, the other thing I want to say is I've talked to the Metro Parks and I've talked to the Western Reserve Land Conservancy. They all think it's worth saving. They'll be part of our package of uh, our grant application. They're, if anyone wants to walk the field um, next Friday at 9, we're all walking the field to, to look at it. Uh, Chagrin River Watershed Partners is writing the grant for us. But... If you picture the Shouse-Jagrin Reservation along Bentleyville, along Miles, and in Solon, and then there's only commercial development until you get to Acacia, this would be a vast nature preserve right in between the two. So I think it makes a lot of connection sense for the county. It's a valuable piece to be preserved and taken out of development forever. We have enough along the 271 corridor. Councilwoman Brown. Thank you. I just want to also point out that um, during or previous to the construction of the Pinecrest project that the mayor was very diligent in making sure that the land that we're talking about remained uh, preserved and had the developers focus on the property that was already cultivated so that we did not risk losing that. So um, Pinecrest, the Pinecrest and that development built on land that already had homes. They purchased those homes. So I think this was just, this is just a compliment to the work that's already being done under the leadership of Mayor McKay. So um, I have, you have my support and I am going to be adding my name to the resolution. So good. Thank you very much. It's barren and vacant right now. Who, who owns this? Uh, it's a family that's owned it for, uh, oh, at least as long as I've been involved, which is 35 years, so they've owned it for longer than that. And uh, the old uh, generation of the family didn't understand wetlands. They were asking $14.5 million because they saw the freeway interchange. And over the last 24 years, the only inquiries I've gotten is big box, mall, how about, you know, how about a, a giant eagle there? And it's not the right place for it. Green space is the right thing for that yeah, we, area. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to be adding my names to all these, but I will work on this with you because it's... Is there in, something you can offer to help? Not at the moment, okay. but <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, this is something... I'm open and, to any suggestions anyone I, no, has. I'm going to support, is, no, Mayor, I'm going to support all these, but this is something that I've watched um, deteriorate along the all my life, and I drove off the highway and there was just a pack of coyote family, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, good luck, you know, if this thing all gets, you know, the whole, but it's diverse. We'd like it's, to stop it from It's happening. diverse. Okay, so um, I'm going to make a motion. Yes, Councilman Miller. I just had one, one other question. Is this land more expensive than an equal amount of land elsewhere would normally be because it's, it's near areas that are highly developed? Well, I'm going to say it's more, I don't know what it would cost anywhere else. Mm. But I would say it is expensive land. Everything in Orange is, you know, mm. expensive. But it's much less expensive than the land it's next to. The Chagrin Highlands mm. acreage is four or $500,000 an acre. This is about two hundred. dollars mm. But we're also trying to um, entice some charitable contribution and other forms of uh, lowering the expense. But yes, mm. it's expensive land. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, the Councilwoman Brown, do you want to move to? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank Welcome. you very much. Thank you, Mayor. 
No opposed, so that passes um, for the uh, full council second reading. And the next item is 187, um, which is also withdrawn for inadequate support from the community. Okay, next item, 0188. Resolution number 2019-0188, supporting an application for funding on behalf of the Village of Moreland Hills for the Chagrin Meadows Preserve in the Village of Moreland Hills. Okay. Hi. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Joe Leslie, uh, Vice President of Real Estate at Western Reserve Land Conservancy, here to present the uh, Chagrin Meadows Preserve Project in Moreland Hills. It is a 26-acre project, again, in the village of Moreland Hills, of mature deciduous forest, some slopes, a beautiful piece of property right along the Chagrin River corridor, and very worthy of protection. We have been working with the Buckeye Trail Association for a potential trail through that property that would come back down and loop into uh, some of the area near the polo field, which is very close to our office, in fact, and uh, looking for your support on this worthy project. Questions? Where, where is this exactly is in Moreland Hills? On Chagrin River Road at the intersection of 87 and Chagrin River. It's the last parcel in, in uh, the village before you get north into the Hunting Valley. So this will connect to the other, the f close to the fields you said? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. It's diagonal, but right across the street from it. Perfect. Me. Good. Okay, thank you for, for doing this. And um, if there's no questions, I'm going to make a motion for um, adoption of Resolution 19 188 Second. Seconded by Councilwoman Stevens. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so that passes. We have one left, 2019-0189. Resolution number 2019-0189, supporting an application for funding on behalf of West Creek Conservancy. Excuse me. Uh, for West Creek in the city of Parma. Hi, good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. I'm Derek Schaefer with West Creek Conservancy, and I've come up here every year uh, mm -hmm. trying to buy more within the city of Parma. So over the last two decades, we've been parceling together the West Creek Reservation, which is now topping over 500 acres. I know that doesn't sound like a grand scheme of a park system, considering 10,000 acres in Rocky River, but you have over 18,000 homes within one mile of its proximity. So if you think about the density of proximity and population and the access to green space, when we have a county that's about 12 or 14 percent green space, Parma is about 5.8. So I've been working on these two properties for the last uh, 14 and a half years. They are the literally, literally the last two puzzle pieces within connecting the, the kind of the western terminus of the park and the southern terminus of the park, getting us out to Broadview Road. It's about a 24-acre property. And it will include acquisition or to total 24 acres between the two properties. And uh, it'll include acquisition and restoration of these properties in addition to West Creek Reservation. And uh, they're both under uh, purchase contract, ready to go. Uh, amazing projects just because both owners have acquiesced to selling. Uh, and again, 14 years of negotiating, we'll call it. Um, and this will not only add another about mile of protected stream within West Creek, but it will add a whole new recreational corridor. It's literally the linchpin piece connecting the southern terminus out to the Seven Hills Hike Bike Trail, which will take us east to the towpath. And if you caught it last weekend, we opened up the Hemlock Creek Trail, which is now the National Park's largest community connector coming out of Independence down to the towpath. So we're kind of getting, and we also have uh, Noaka CMAC funding ready to protect, or I'm sorry, ready to build trail 2022 23 from this location out to Broadview Road. So it's literally the 20 year puzzle kind of coming in the making and this is the last two pieces that we have to do within West Creek. I'm not saying I will never come back for West Creek, I'm just saying these are the two big puzzle pieces. <coughs> yes, Councilwoman Stevens. So, I will see you again <laughs> for the first time. Um, are you, this is part of the campus where you jointly did as a removal and uh, Directly adjacent to. So this is actually, so uh, what Councilman Stevens is referring to is the former Parmadale campus that we've acquired, and we work side by side with the County Land Bank and the city of Parma to demolish about 22 acres of blighted structures, which is 90% done at this point, and that 80 acres is going to be integrated to the West Creek Reservation in early 20, well, probably by the end of 2020, and the property line of one of these butts right up against the former Parmadale campus. Like, we literally own a trail and ramp system coming down from form, former Parmadale to the property. 
but we can't access it because you don't we don't own it yet. So okay. directly adjacent to. Okay. Did logistics, I wanted to know where it was. Now I do. I, I love the work that they do. Um, I have personally been sponsoring with my little baby checks um, their activity because green space is incredibly important, whether it's on the east side or the west side of Cuyahoga County. Thank you. Thank you for all your work, by the way. All right, so um, I want to make a motion? We, I move this forward. I move we adopt this. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you so Thank much. You very much. Okay, so I want Allison. No, um, hi, I'm Allison Ball. I'm the district liaison. And um, it's come to my attention that although I built in time for three table readings, I don't know if I built in time for a signature to make that um, uh, resolution of support effective by the due date, which is October 11th, because the third table reading is October 8th. So I will respectfully request sure these resolutions of support be adopted under suspension of rules at the second reading. We've already passed these, okay. so we'll, we'll make sure this gets done. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Allison, um, if you can stay up here, because I asked okay. if you would, and I think you preemptively did this, is to give us a kind of a summary of what, what was funded last time. But I want to tell everybody in the room, we support you all, and I appreciate everything you're doing to, to make these projects happen in the county. And um, I'm going to add my name to all of these resolutions and um, wish everybody luck with these projects. So um, if there's any questions. Mayor, do you have another? After Allison, did you want to? I just want to know what's the total value of all these projects. It's gonna be OK. Allison's going to. Okay, if you can speak, we have a question from the floor about the, the question of all the value of monetary, you're talking about funding amounts requested. So um, as Derek Schaefer said, it's over $8 million. Um, those are the ones that are coming here for this year. We have a project that came through here last year that is coming again, and that resolution of support is going to be included in that application. Um, and also, the Metro Parks does not have to come um, before the council for resolutions of support as per the Ohio Revised Code. So I don't know what the grand total is going to be until October 11th. Does it help that two of the projects have been withdrawn? Um, in the competitive scoring and it's still gonna it's still gonna be very competitive Cuyahoga County is one of the most competitive districts in the state okay which one's coming back to us you said there's one from last well, year the, the one from last year is the Brexville Upland Preserve Extension and that I don't know the resolution number but that was passed last year and um, Ohio Public Works Commission considers um, documents good for three years as current so so our resolution holds yes it will be submitted again yes okay and what was actually funded last year um, well I can show you last year or I can show you the last six years however you want last year okay last year um, you had three projects um, funded uh, for a total of let's see um, three projects 2019 uh, three projects funded, um, and that was $1.3 million in awards to preserve 65 acres. It was the Dusty Goldenrod Phase 2 for uh, 37 acres. Um, West Creek Greenway um, Valley Connector, which was a three-acre parcel in putting the, together all that West Creek um, reservation pieces. And then the third one is the Lower Big Creek trail connector this is a project that um, has been come through committee twice once for the acquisition in 2016 ohio public works commission um, changed the statute so that applicants can come back for a phase two for um, restoration enhancements and to make it publicly accessible so the last year the lower big creek trail connector um, which is 24.5 um, acres came back for a development project so I have where, where are those? I know one uh, is here, in part. Let, I can show you. Sure. Does the committee want to see this briefly? It's quick. It's one page, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no. I'll it's skip to the one page you don't for mind. 2019. I don't want to like, rush anybody else. I 2019. So it's the um, 
it's the pre oh I can't do a laser pointer at a TV screen, but it's the um, the neon yellow um, pieces. So in Highland uh, Highland Heights. So if you go to the top right hand corner of uh, Cuyahoga County in Highland Hills, where mm -hmm. we make that little uh, yep. jog from Euclid down to Highland Heights, mm -hmm. uh, the projects in that area. Yes. The beauty of working for the land bank for eight years was I know almost, where almost everything is. <laughs> yeah, the, two, the, yeah. the dusty goldenrod is, phase two is in Highland Heights. This yeah. is the yes. second phase where there's rare mm -hmm. goldenrod. We got yeah. to see the pictures of that last year, if you remember. So this is really cool. Um, that will be protected. The West Creek, obviously, the is... West Creek parcel, the West Creek parcel you can't see very easily in the map because it's sandwiched between... Um, the uh, orange year and the purple year, so but it's in the Parma section, uh -huh. um, all the way kind of. Uh, it's okay. It's in Parma. We we got it. It's it's, it's in Parma. Parma. And then, uh, the lower um, Big Creek project is the red that circled in yellow, off to the left in Cleveland. Okay, and the third one is the lower Big Creek also. So, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you went back to 2014, yes. Allison, so you might as well just, so we've got the 2000 through 2018 um, funding winners. Okay. Um, here you go. So, um, so in 2014, uh, there were six projects funded. So these are all out of order now. Six projects funded for a total of... Let's see. Sorry about this. Well, six projects were funded. Yeah, okay. this is there. We got them. We got them. Yeah, okay. We got and, them, Allison. So if you go to. And two. these are the six projects. Nice. Um, sorry that I don't know where that black circle came from. All the project names were underneath them. So uh, this is in 2016. Uh, wait, I skipped 2015. Um, uh, so, oops. 2014, six projects. 2015, there were five projects. So um, you have the two on the top right are the Tremont Point Towpath Trail. One's a before and one's an after because some of the award money um, in phase one can go to restoration and development for public access. Um, the one on the left is the is in Solon. Um, the um, Lakeshore Preserve in the lower left is actually one of the smallest projects. It's 4.9 acres. And then the two, um, the middle and far right, are in West Creek in Parma. So in 2016, um, there were three projects funded. And um, the Chagrin Valley Greenway Connector, that's one of our um, largest ones. It's 180 acres, so I put two pictures. Um, the Country Lane Conservation Project is um, it's in Tinker's Creek. Uh, I can't remember the location. Thank you, Warrensville Heights. And then um, Preserving Parmadale. Um, the, and I think that was the project that you guys were talking about earlier. In 2017, we only had two projects um, that came before you get funded. Um, that's the Irish Town Bend Project. Um, and it was recently written up in the Plain Dealer, so I provided that link, and um, the Brexville Upland Preserve. So, and that was the first 100 acres they're coming back for an expansion. Uh, Brexland, Brexville Upland Preserve is directly between Cuyahoga Valley Na National Park and the Brexville Reservation, so it's connecting, making that linkages, which is really important. Um, in 2018, there was only one project. Two projects came before the council. One project got funded. Um, this one project was made up of six parcels um, or six properties. So uh, they're the and they're all for West Creek um, Conservancy in Parma. And then last year we had the Dusty Goldenrod um, Phase Two, the West Creek Greenway Valley Connector. That was just the one parcel you couldn't see. And here on the lower um, half of the screen is the lower Big Creek Trail Connector that also had some press in the freshwater Cleveland. So altogether, um, 20 projects have been funded. 29 have, have come before the council, and it's about 12 million dollars in awards for 674 acres, and I can provide those numbers to um, Janine if you Thank need. Thank you. Great, thanks. That would be great if you okay. provide the numbers. I'm gonna, we're gonna mm -hmm. keep them archived and keep track and 
specifically all the, I'd like a sheet of all the applicants, you know, who every year and then who was awarded. So we okay. can sort of have a idea of what's sure. happening with these projects. But yeah, so hopefully it will continue. Thanks, Allison. Thank you. Any questions from the committee? I don't have any business other than today. So um, we're going to adjourn and have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you.